What is going on, lunatics? We've got two proposals that just came up, and they're big ones. And then, in addition to that, we've got price action that tells me that that move I've been telling you is getting ready to happen, that that 2 to 3x I, I looks like it's ready to explode. The timing seems to be right. I would expect it to happen in the next three weeks. I think that we're about to have uh, a big rip with Luna Classic. Now, as with anything, I'm not sure. I'm never certain when Terra Luna Classic is going to explode. I'm just sure that it will. And by the way, when I say explode, you're going to look at the chart. There's going to be some donkeys that come into the chat and they say things like, When they're not exactly in the motion, then you don't need like a two or a three X. When I'm looking for it, it's going to be 100 and 400 and maybe 1,000 X. Or whatever they say, that's how they talk in my head. I can't help it. That's just the way that it works. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's kick this off and let's go through it all. Okay, everything about Commonwealth ends right here. Update links to CMC and other platforms. This is the proposal. Currently, the Terra Classic ecosystem stands out as the only project around the top 200 that are not... Look, this is the links that they want to use. And if this proposal passes, we will ask CoinMarketCap to update all links to both USTC and Luna Classic. So, um, this is your decision. So, uh, you go vote on it. Uh, it's 1240. And so far, you've got... Uh, all kinds of different yeses for that. You've got uh, a couple of no's over here. Um, let's see, you've got uh, yes, you've got no, you've got some no with vetoes, and you got some abstains so far. So we're just getting started here. Um, so now the question is, you know, how will everybody vote? And you vote uh, and delegate the way you see that this should go. Now, the next piece is, this one's getting a lot more response already, but it's, uh, as TFL initially listed Terra Classic on CoinMarketCap and other aggregators, uh, they are still the only entity with the keys to access the relevant dashboards to change that. So the problem, uh, in order to give the community more time to come up to an agreement, we propose that Terraform Labs be asked to transfer access and potential other chains to all nodes as a trustworthy entity by 30 October 2024. So they're going to make a proposal and submit it to have all nodes be in charge of it, which we've already submitted and done before, but Terraform Labs still controls everything. So, um, and by the way, the other day, I was right when I said that, you know, Jay was wrong, that it was not Vegas that was doing it. Now, Vegas was trying to figure out a way to do it. That part is true. And so was tech because they're all part of the same gang. Uh, but what they were trying to do is find out how it could be updated. And then Terraform Lab is the one that does the updating. And Terraform Labs the one that did all of the updates to the information. Now, the question at that point is, what do you do with no notice? You know, like you can argue about it all you want, but, you know, I, we don't know or, or anybody knows exactly how the background process went. We just know this, Terraform Labs. Folks, I'm about to stake 10,000 XRP in my Cryptonomy.finance account for a nine month yield. Okay, transaction complete. Let's move on to the next thing. Not only are you able to stake your crypto, not only are you able to earn yield off of new cryptos launching, you can also borrow stable coins, borrow fiat, and borrow crypto. Additionally, folks, there are several big things that are in the pipeline. Strategic collaborations, the global unicorn selection expansion, uh, and then this drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. And if you are worried about the market, don't be because Cryptonomy.finance is prepared for market volatility. They are playing both sides of this coin. Uh, they are going long. They are going short as the market allows it. And you, my friends, have an opportunity to earn some yield off of these. Go stake at Cryptonomy.finance today. Did the update. So, uh, so far, it's 99% positive. Um, Bruto nodes, Lunk Shift, all these guys have voted um, uh, yes. There's no, no with vetoes, no no's, and no abstains at this point. So again, vote your conscience. If your validator doesn't vote the way that you want them to do, change your validator. Okay? It's very, very simple. That's all you have to do. Now, uh, going further, 
Coin, Coin Hall shows uh, a nice little lift overall. Juris taking off here. Cat with Hat continuing its roar. Uh, we're up about 2x on Cat with Hat right now. If you got in when I told you to like two weeks ago, you're welcome. Um, also, Boys seems to be kind of, you know, it's 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 kind of stuck in that little range right now, waiting for that next big leg up. But I mean, look, the breakout project right now, Juris. Juris just having a nice little run right now and continuing on. When does this thing really break out? It is my estimation that Juris could just go for a 10, 20, 30x at a moment's notice because of what it represents, and that's the new Anchor Protocol. And look, people aren't finding it right now because it's inside an ecosystem that has kind of yet to be discovered, if you will. And at some point, it will be discovered. And when it's discovered, hoo, 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 this is going to be uh, the, the, the jewel on top of the crown in the Luna Classic ecosystem initially and early. So if you don't have a bag of Juris, you should have a bag, okay? Very simple. In my opinion, you do what you want with your money. Um, but I think that this is gonna be one that's gonna take off. Now let's kick off a little discussion about the price action. As you can see, we're kind of meandering sideways right now. And that's not really what you want, but the good part is it's still moving towards that upside. So we still got momentum on our side. Now, I will take you back in time to the last time this happened. It was right here. And what happened? We got that explosive move and we wicked out at the top. Then we had another one that happened over here and it dumped. By the way, this was at the same time that the broader market was starting to dump and we were starting to lose uh, a, a little bit of motivation. Remember, uh, after this uh, March move right here, Bitcoin's been in a downward trend since then. Now, um, ultimately, we broke out of that structure and we started off sideways, as we always do. But then that sideways action always leads to that explosive move. And by the way, if I could show you how this happens, you would see it playing out time and time again. In fact, here is the structure right here. Here's the sideways action. Uh, here's the, a nice little test pump. And then again, sideways action coming around through here. And then boom, explosive move. Uh, same thing over here. Anytime you break that structure, uh, you're going to kind of go sideways normally unless you have a big announcement. So I am really encouraged by what I see with Luna uh, Classic to say that it's probably ready for that breakout. And that breakout, by the way, for anybody who's wondering, I, I you know, somebody said the other day, uh, uh, three zeros twenty four. I would think it's three zeros twenty two. Uh, we could see a wick taking us up into this range right here. But I don't know, like, I, I, I you know, maybe, uh, but I would prefer to say it's probably going to be at the bottom of the range. Where's the bottom of the range? The bottom of that range would be right there, which is actually 22.6. So three zeros, 22.6 uh, to me would be that impulse move if, in fact, it breaks out of this structure right there. Uh, and, and by the way, the structure right there, I mean, is this descending trend line right there. Uh, when we have another test of that, then you know we'll get some clarity about what's next. And then in the event that we have a successful breakout, then you're talking about three zeros 32, and then ultimately three zeros 58. And by the way, this could get really crazy over the next little while as this market is really heating up right now. And we're starting to see inflows. Uh, we're starting to see capital inflows around the world, not just limited to one specific or two specific regions, but we're seeing it everywhere right now. Crypto is about to not be denied, if you will. Now, uh, let's move on here and look at the volume. Volume down to 17.8 million, down 12%. But again, market cap consistent. Same thing over here. Market cap is down, however, but the volume continues to kind of dwindle here. And this is, look, we're just waiting for that next leg up. You don't need a whole lot of volume um, in order to go sideways. <laughs> what you need is you need that volume coming in in order to go up. And we're getting to the point where about three weeks from now, we're going to have a whole lot of information at one big time. And it's going to get absolutely bonkers. Nanners, if you will. So uh, let's keep going here. Uh, Lunk Dash, they've got the proposals up. So if you want to, go check out Lunk Dash. And shout out to Strathcole and Happy Caddy Crypto, who decided to work together and try to figure out a way forward on the whole tax to gas implementation. And the attacks seem to have stopped, like I said yesterday. And now we've got a team actually doing what can only be described as team related shit. So uh, let's keep going burns up significantly because we had a big burn yesterday of 65 million folks it's just the start it's just the start what's going to happen when we get that big burn what is that big burn that's that big wallet son 253 billion 
uh, Luna Classic at one point, 175 million USTC at one point. Now, there's one question that I do have, and that is, is this part of the circulating supply or total supply? Has this already been removed from that? Because, I, look, I don't know how these guys vote. I do have concerns about that, but, you know, we, we'll see what happens when it actually happens. So, other than that, I really don't know whether or not this is, you know, I'm, I'm excited, but I, I don't know who's been doing the updates in regards to that. But you know what I do know? If you sign up for Terra Casino today, you can qualify for $11,000 daily cash drops. Uh, you can also win up to 2 million euros uh, from now until December 22nd in partnership with the World Poker League. And you can trade Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, uh, USDC, USDT, XRP, P, 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 XRP. Guys, why are you not signed up for Terra Casino today? Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And by the way, you can now play Los Muertos Locos. And not to be denied, if you want to trade meme coins, the meme coins that are pumping, that I keep telling you guys that are having breakouts, that are sitting in my wallet, that I'm showing you every day that you're not in, and I know you're not in them, because guess what? I'm in them. So, uh, I know you're not, but you should be. Why do I say you should be? Uh, be duh, duh, duh. So anyway, uh, go check this out. If you are so inclined and you are interested, go check out Terraport.finance today uh, in order to do some trading and earn, earn what? earn yield uh, by yield farming or liquid staking, or you can just stake outright. There's still 14 day, which is open, 16% uh, APR. Remember, mine is still trapped here for 15 more days because I signed up for that 90 day thing and we are 75 days into it. So we've been doing this for a while. We've earned 198.94 uh, Terra so far, which goes in with our 5,026. Now, by the way, I did accumulate another 500 Terra in the meantime. So the next time we stake, it's gonna be closer to about 6,000. I know it's not a lot, uh, it's not a lot, but like, again, um, getting small amounts, hoping that they, uh, meaning they mean the, the developers, turn into big amounts. So um, there we have it. Go check out terraport.finance today. And that's it, guys. Let's summarize here. I think that we're about to have an explosive move. Uh, it's going to be brought on by continued burns. We're going to see a lot of burns from Terraform Labs. We're going to see a significant burn from Terraform Labs. We're going to see renewed, enthusiastic uh, burn from Binance coming up in about two weeks. And then a week after that, Ceramic is going to reveal his first proposal for a repeg design. And that's going to create, in my opinion, a sense of FOMO because you're going to see a massive amount of burn. You're going to see a massive amount of what we call what we would call life coming back into the system by virtue of that repeg. And then you couple that with the Juris protocol. And if we get that implemented right there, it becomes a lending and borrowing institution located and situated right in the Luna Classic community. So what are you waiting for? This is the time right now, and this <clears throat> it's not the last time. I don't think that it's going to be the last time, and there could be a dip, but this is one of the last times that you're going to have an opportunity to accumulate before things get crazy, c -c 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 crazy, okay? Uh, I do think that it's coming, and I do think that it's a lot closer than we think. The entire market is ready to soar. Uh, that's my opinion, though. That's not financial advice, but I'm always right. We'll see you again soon.